Okay, I'm sharing a screen. Is it visible at your end? Yes, yes. Okay, so as sir described, uh, uh, we will just go through the trades. Uh, basically, we will try to highlight uh, the key areas, not the usual trade, but the tricky trades. That's okay. Yeah. So I started uh, from 20th. I traded for half day only, not full day. Uh, this was the first day and first trade that is very obvious trade. So no need to describe. 175 points captures over here. Very clear entry. Uh, then there was a trade over here. Uh, let's see at uh, 1023. That was on short side. And there was one candle over here that uh, asked us to exit. But I didn't exit over there. Okay. Before that, I would like to add few points. Based upon your previous discussions, I have added Bollinger Band and I replaced Super Trend by Half Trend. According to my experience, Half Trend gives uh, better yeah. results. <laughs> Hello, there is no disturbance. I believe. Okay. So, Half Trend gives us a better results, and uh, I didn't exit this trade because of the Half Trend because uh, this candle was just uh, reaching the Half Trend, and I was waiting for one more brick to cross this candle. And that was rewarded. And here again, the second brick happened, and I exited on this trade here. So, uh, half trend help us uh, in this particular case. Then uh, again, okay. this was, yeah. uh, I want to ask you one question. Uh, yes, sir. You exited when KDG was entering green, right? Uh, no. I yes. exited on the completion of the candle. No, no. You exited short trade, correct? Yes, yes. But then it's okay. Fine. Short trade on exit, yeah. Okay, this was very really, uh, a little bit tricky as compared to the previous one. So then there was an entry over here and exit. This is again a normal trade. I didn't trade on for rest of the day. Then we will move to the next tricky one. Yeah, ten thirty four. Again, this is very obvious because uh, this this was on twenty first of uh, June. Quite a trending day. Quite positive day. Sentiment was positive. And we was waited for till 9.34. People could have entered before also. But I was waited till 9.34 and I get this obvious trade. No issue on that. Okay. Here I exited on first candle. Uh, based upon some resistance level, 33, 300. And I again enter on a next candle. Because even though uh, the half trend is intact, half trend was not uh, broken. And that's uh, uh, give me a confirmation that I can go long on this trade again. And I got a good capture. I was able to capture good point till this moment. So this way half trend helps. If you go for the super trend, the super trend will change probably over here itself. And that help doesn't help us. So that benefit I observed in half trend as compared to super trend. So that is one point. I didn't exit it over here. Even though the KDJ was red. And I just ride it just 100 points. Not even more than that. So I was decided to wait for one more break. Sometimes uh, when there was a continuation of the uh, trades, you know, I used to wait for one additional brick. Instead of exiting on a first reversal, I used to wait for two bricks. But not always, for sometimes. If there is a long trade expected, if the resistance are quite long, then only. And here exit was quite obvious. The KDJ turned red and I exited over here. Mm, yes, there was a phishing SL over here. Uh, I got an entry and exited over here and that was a SL, but not a big deal. Still in day, I was able to capture 550 points. Very obvious. I was have some personal work, so I didn't trade it over here. But again, there was a, some obvious trade was possible over here. Then next day was quite tough for everyone. This is 22nd. And uh, I was, able for, what you can say, I was happy enough because I was able to avoid uh, the what you can say SL many times over there, and I used to uh, go for a candlestick and uh, EMA combination to identify no, no trade zone. So this was again a simple trade 1017 to uh, what you can say 1043. No, no any ambiguity over here. Then this was again the same portion, simple trade, not a big issue. The GI mm -hmm. is giving us a uh, indication. Uh, I not enter on this candle. What was the reason? Probably, yeah. Only I was waiting for the GI because anyway, uh, the trend was not so clear. So whenever I have some doubt, or if my first trade or if my first candle is a green side, I used to take for additional confirmations going on short side, and vice versa. So that's reason uh, I waited for additional brick over here. 
this happens on friday also and friday i took a late entry and sir also asked for that but uh, again i follow my rule that if my first uh, big uh, 15 minutes candle is on bullish side on a bearish trade i want more conviction okay so here on 23rd i got uh, exit on this trade unfortunately and that was uh, because of trailing sl so as sir discuss uh, we will take this part later on so we will take discuss about this on later on so i missed this rally but okay we will find out a solution how we can take uh, how we can ride this further this was again a long trade uh similar system similar happens i exited on this candle and again i missed this particular rally in fact that was my lunch break time so did not worry but uh, still few cap points was uh, possible to capture and i captured some 150 points very obviously at over here and then uh long side over here from 10 16 till <coughs> probably uh, th 1345 means uh, 1345 yeah i exited because of, i was exhausted on that day with too much uh, volatility or too much trade has been taken and captured good amount of point so decided to stop trading on that day yeah uh, before 2 pm and there was some obvious trade also possible after that also but i don't know uh, whether we should continue trading after uh, capturing good amount of point or we should stop uh, before that so uh, probably we will discuss this point and we will try to find out what will be the better way next day again there was a uh, uh, what you can say a tough day not so good uh, but yeah uh, alligator sorry not alligator no trade zone identification help us or to avoid over here i got a uh, sl on first candle and a good ride over here of something 75 points or uh, yeah 150 yeah 150 points over here okay this was a fantastic trade i would like to explain over here i took this trade only because of bollinger band reversal uh the reverse uh, renko reverse at the pollinger band okay and here nmcd has approached almost the bottom uh, they are starting turning green histogram so i took a risk over here i took a long sorry uh -huh, i took a long trade over here and i exited at the top of this candle not even waited for renko to reverse so that was uh, some alteration i did in my regular practice because total day was a sideways it was a, a typical bollinger band day so that's the reason i decided to take this entry in fact i took a short trade also but unfortunately i got a sl or here and that trade well work well but yes i follow the rule and i exit or here so this is one tricky trade i would like to highlight i think uh, that's enough and uh, later on i didn't trade it because it was a sideways day and uh, no trade zone so not traded afterwards i think that's all from my side any question any doubt yeah yeah uh, rakesh thank you very much Yeah, of course you have done very well i can see before i open for others i have i want to ask you two questions yes, you are sir. trading in futures right yes sir yes sir i am trading future only yeah can you please tell us the reason why you yes sir uh, initially when you give me this strategy uh, one week i uh, traded on option i traded out of the money i traded in the money i traded out of uh, again at atm but unfortunately uh, i witnessed that one even though the future gives us 100 and 150 point profit i am not able to capture even 30 40 points on option so uh, practically i experienced that one and that's reason i shifted to futures this renko strategy we have to work on future this doesn't work for uh, option as of now but, okay uh, the, the answer to the question is see it is like this it doesn't have anything to do with uh, renko strategy it is that you found for something suitable for your profile so you can make in uh, options you can make the same thing in uh, in futures but i think you chose because of your own profile risk ability your capital and maybe also you don't want to employ your entire capital so trading in futures is fine are you very worried about theta uh, or because is it that is no. why i asked this question no sir no actually uh, in initial days no i tried both the things because uh, i tried option buying as well as option selling i was using this signal of from the ring co chart and i tried for option selling because uh, after two days i believe that could be a problem because of theta then i tried on option selling and again the results were same i was not able to capture 50% of the future points 
in option and what i realize is uh, since in renko the signals was delayed by 50 points almost as compared to our other systems uh, our other system gives us uh, signals very quickly within 1 minutes or 2 minutes but in renko uh, 50 minutes are uh, what you can say flush out in a entry and 50 points are flush out in a exit and bit probably because of that our options are uh, premiums are decaying faster okay and maybe maybe because of that we are not getting full benefit in option okay so uh, okay let me answer the question uh, the answer is no premium if you are trading in momentum uh, many this is a very wide misconception misconception that uh, that the theta decay is the big thing for momentum traders getting 45 minutes in and out theta is not a problem at all yes, i will prove it in another session mathematically what is the is the issue is the actually delta so when you say the option uh, that is what i notice that you entered in different strike prices right okay so yes. now uh, that is the issue in in options when you do the strike place and the delta is a very important thing even though many people think theta is the problem actually it is not so right yeah, this is a very widespread uh, information that all that way option buyers oh theta is going to lose value as if every minute you are dying you know as you go that is not true i will show you the different complete weekly analysis hour by hour of theta decay and it is can be very clearly proved that for a momentum trader theta is not a problem of course this is another topic we'll discuss it is the delta which you have to be and gamma which you have to be careful about so yes. you are i can't, i don't want to analyze your issue but as long as it fits your profile but then again when you enter the option and your experience of not gaining maybe due to exit price maybe due to risk management maybe due to capital management so many other things anyway if you are fine with it that's fine uh, and then there was another small issue one i saw you you said you are looking for confluence then you didn't take the first two bricks or third brick you entered or then again it reverse now for the record i want to tell you that see ga is a moving average combination of five five indicator it is not a very early indicator if you look at that particular thing you already got three three confluences am i right rakesh yes you sir you from rsi you are from nmsc i think i made a comment also that yes. you are making a late entry you remember uh, that was on thursday or friday i don't yeah, friday. yes yes so see to be perfectly risk free you can keep on looking for more and more confluence but uh, there there has to be an end to that because uh, by the time you look at the confluence particularly renko see what is renko the it is so easy uh, when you look at the chart but when you are actually in action it is not so now we are looking at the hindsight you look at your just move your chart uh, left side you can see everything beautiful not a friday friday is a bizarre day you can look very clear it is so um, up please little bit up the chart so everything looks easy 400 points 500 points like that yes but in actually when you do trading there are so many other elements comes so what is our intention is for example you take this uh, to 1316 out of these so many uh, bricks or boxes 1 2 3 i think there were 15 or 16 of them how much yes. maximum you can capture that is the game it is yes. not capturing some points otherwise it is very easy as you can see this chart right before you The, yes. the downtrend is clear the uptrend is clear you have to just enter it looks so easy but the point is how well you will get that is the skill of the trader maximum points okay so for that uh, you know uh, if the confluence is normally two to three indicators is more than enough you don't need the, we are dealing with eight ten indicators 
some are in the body chart already some are in the pants so that's my advice would be yes it is of course it depends on your conviction because you are trading your money but have to try to have a balance or some kind of rule or at least depending on which indicator you trust most so okay. as long as those indicators give you you should be able to go entry or exit okay any other question from anybody else please before we move to to okay. shrinivas guys you are here for to ask questions unmute yourself and ask okay wow. yeah rakesh this sandeep here i have one question uh, just to mention your name so that i can see your name but please mention your name so other people will know yeah jayan so this sandeep here um rakesh you can hear me yeah 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 yes. okay 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 yeah yeah okay so mike you said that you know you trade in futures and you tried in options all the uh, sites right itm atm and otm yes you saying that you know you're not able to get the points that you're getting in futures is, yes, is my understanding correct correct half half of the point because uh, it's a uh, delta is 0.5 so i am mm-hmm. expecting at least a half point okay so in terms of value you see you're getting better value in future than in options yes right and and when you're trying itm where you're trying a uh, 0.5 delta 0.6 delta or 0.4 delta which, which one you are trying first itm first itm okay that could be around 0.4 to 0.5 delta right 0.55 probably probably okay so so my my observation here was that you know uh, that's fine i think you know if you are comfortable with future as jagan sir said that's fine but in options jagan sir what i have noticed that you know, if you take point if you compare point 4 and point 6 when you are going on the p side point 6 gives a better value sorry point 5 gives a better value and when you are going on c between point 4 and point 6 point 6 gives a better value so uh, it is not very clear you know how do we decide on that so okay. that could be something if it is clear maybe that can also help rakes to take in you know uh, options Sure, well, I'm sure. sure future will uh, you'll have to deploy more capital, right? Uh, yeah, actually, I used to hedge it with option. I used to uh, buy uh, opposite option before before entering okay. into the. Yeah, but still, it's capital is complete a little bit. Okay. Okay. Please, please mute yourself. The whoever it is, others. Please mute yourself. Uh, regarding option na uh, what happened mm-hmm. now since it's a momentum based strategy and i am getting the exit signal when the momentum is reversed by 50 points yeah. uh, so you are not talking can you please go on mute otherwise i have to to uh, yes sir i think uh, you mute everyone this is a person called user yeah you mute him i think No, 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 no. This is not acceptable at all. Hello. Who is this person? Who is it? Hello. Hello. Yeah. 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 This is better. Now, no, sorry. Uh, so, what were we discussing about the momentum? Uh, uh, can you identify this person? No, no, no. Uh, give me one second, sir. I will move him from the the meeting. If uh, people cannot unmute, unmute themselves, I think with some name R is uh, re- reflecting over there. That's only the unmute, unmuted one. Just simple yes, R. It's R R. No, so it's R. Host, host, could you please mute him? मतलब कि नमः नमः ऐसा है तो क्रम पे तो तेरे के लिए वातो तो okay sorry. Yeah. Okay. So yes, Sandeep, uh, we are discussing about the options, and uh, yeah, since uh, this strategy, I am getting exit signal when the momentum is already reversed by fifty point, and probably there is making the difference. Uh, probably if we go with the minor brick size, then yeah, we may be able to capture good point in option. And in between, few people are already approaching me. They are trying in options, and they are not able to capture the points. Now, in last week, few people approached me on the same topic. Okay, no, I think Friday we all understand. Friday, if anybody not, would have tried, would not have got it. But at least Tuesday, Thursday, and Thursday 
Thursday Tuesday itself, Tuesday. people, yeah. Thursday also people have struggles. Thursday, Tuesday, those people, Tuesday also people have struggles. Okay. Uh, do you have more details on that? Maybe that is a good discussion point because at least Tuesday and Thursday, when I look into chat, I I really don't see that this setup would have you know created any problem for anybody. Yeah. Okay, uh, guys, uh, we have to go to other topics. Yeah, yeah. Already, we are. But, but sir, what is your advice? Uh, what should we do? We have to now move to other person. We will discuss separately. Okay, okay. correct. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, can you start? Yes, sir. Sure. Let me share my screen. Is it visible? Yes. Yes, it is visible. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let me take uh, Thursday and Friday. So I follow these two charts, uh, these two rent code charts, uh, and also I use uh, these two Hekineshi charts. So this is Bollinger Band with Hekineshi. And uh, this is for range, and this is for uh, identifying breakouts, the super trend charts. So this week, uh, I primarily took my trades based on trend co as uh, Rakesh has explained it. So Thursday was an absent day. So though uh, Thursday I did not trade, but I just marked mark the uh, entries and exits. So Thursday was a clear trending day where you had this. Uh, so we can take entry on the second rent co uh, candle. Continuous candle, so you can take an entry here and exit at the uh, Renko reversal brick. So that was almost, uh, yeah, that was almost close to 400 points here. And uh, and of course, immediately it also gave a fractal high signal, and also it gave a, a Renko reversal candle here. So you, you can take a short at second candle. And at the at the Bollinger Band, you can expect to end the trend. And as soon as you can see a reversal candle, reversal Renko candle, you can exit here. And uh, next to that, there was a continuous Renko green candle. And I actually uh, we would have gone long here, but uh, this candle uh, would have hit hit the stop loss. And then uh, again, there is a continuous red candles. Okay, uh, Srinivas, let's do like this. One is that let's go into your, the problems you face. You said you wanted to ask some questions. Right? Yes, we, sir, we know is... that you did well. So most of the trades are similar to what the others have taken. So yes, let's sir. go, okay, considering the time in, uh, also in view, let's focus on the exceptions or the problems you face or the questions you wanted to ask. This is the correct correct. Yes, sir. As Rakesh was saying, right? So I I trade in options and uh, I follow these red code charts. So the, the question was regard regarding stop loss, ideal stop loss, and filing stop loss. So that is where uh, I have good concern because many times what happens is though the trend my trend I mean my trend prediction was right, it used to hit my twenty five uh, point stop loss, and after that uh, maybe five or ten points it dipped down and it continues the trend. So I will have to re-enter it. So, uh, what would be the ideal stop loss to keep an option, sir? And, you know, uh, Shinovas, you already have this confusion about the stop loss. I noticed. Uh, yes, Kuti, see, stop loss is, is a topic. There are some videos how to put this stop loss. I will explain to you quickly. So, okay. let's discuss only about the issues here. You were, you, there are two stop losses you are trying to do. One is for the trade and one is for the trading stop loss, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, training stop loss, if you are talking about, you see, normally as a mini trend is about 200, 250, 300 points. I, I was telling you that this 100 points, see, first of all, what is the need for a trading stop loss? Let's ask the question. Because anyway, you are exiting in the next uh, reversal candle, right? Okay. So, yes, sir. naturally, uh, 25 points you are going to lose because you are waiting for one reversal or if uh, two reversals, if you have a strong conviction, it's only a pullback. You can add either more quantities 
or not exit so that if you are sure that it's a pullback, so you don't need to exit also or you will exit the first or second kind of. That itself is a trading stop loss, right? So you, if you really think, what is the need to put the trading stop loss? One. However, we need to put the trailing stop loss for one thing. Suppose there is an algo candle comes, all right? And yes. then you lose not one brick. Suddenly, four bricks comes on the opposite side. Then there is a heavy key. An algo candle can be 150 points also, big candle. So that is the protection. Like sellers have the hedge. You need to have a hedge. So this trailing stop loss is basically as a hedge to a seller, it is a for to the buyer in Renko. Otherwise, what is the need? Tell me, what is the need to tell to put, put the trailing stop loss? Yes, sir. That's the one. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. There is no need because one opposite brick or second opposite brick, which is 100 points, uh, sorry, 50 points, you're going to exit anyway. But trailing stop loss is good because we do not know, particularly these, these days when we get this big algo candle. And suppose if the opposite direction goes five, six points, then you are in big trouble. Now let's come to the stop loss, which I will explain. Uh, one is always, we say it is 50 plus that week on the top or the tail on the bottom. So normally, I do not know what will be weaker tail. It may be another 10, 15 points. So that is the stop loss. Now, if you say, yes, I got stop loss here, it's a good thing. What's the problem? Okay, you can re-enter if you are if you're convinced. See, what is the concept of stop loss. This is what I you see. It varies from strategy to strategy. Some, for a person who is using Bollinger Band, the stop loss is different. It is on your fractal high. For somebody using Renko, it is two bricks, which is 50. Or somebody using Alligator, it is something else. But let me explain to you the concept of where you should put the stop loss. Stop loss should be put in a place where your original idea of trading gets invalidated. That means, that means what? That means you are saying one support level will be respected and there will be a bounce. There's a pullback. Okay. <coughs> you think it's only a pullback. It is going to uh, bounce. But what happens is actually it doesn't bounce. If the support level is broken or the resistance level is broken, so what happens is your original idea of entering at a support level, which is that this support is a very strong support. It is definitely, it is going to test and is going to bounce back. That gets invalidated because your support level is broken. So that point when it is broken below, that is where you will put your stop loss. Now no, I'm not quantifying specifically. So when you thought that this is going to happen and that is the point when your original idea of entry gets invalidated. Invalidated. So that is where the stop loss should be. Okay. So in Renko, because you are trading in Bollinger Bands also, so you need to really think what, what, what is the idea on which I'm entering? What is the assumption on which I'm entering? So if it doesn't happen, that idea which uh, on which I traded, it becomes invalidated. That is where you should put the stop loss. Okay. Then uh, I will leave it here. This is the concept of stop loss. That should be applied by anybody because it varies from strategy to strategy. It becomes on volatility. There's so many things. We'll go separately into your stop loss very in detail. Any other questions, Srinivas? No, sir. Regarding, I mean, yeah, I had questions on stop loss and value stop loss. Yeah. Yeah, any other question or uh, do, do other people have any questions to Srinivas? Rake, uh, Rakesh here. Uh, Srinivas, I need to open an example uh, here. How much point to capture in options against future? Against future? Okay. Yeah. Any, any trade you can see uh, how much point you were able to capture in options? Uh, what was the strike price uh, and uh, what was the ideal point in futures? Uh, Rakesh, you may not be able to answer it because he doesn't have the data of all the trades. I will give you a very simple answer okay. to this. 
Very simple. Okay. Suppose yeah. you are trading in 0. 0.4 and it became to 0. 0.6 as, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the direction which you are taking. Normally, that's what happens. Or 0. 0.5 becomes 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.7 or 0. 0.6 becomes 0. 0.8 depending on the uh, whether you took a short trade or long trade. So the average, let us say, 0. 0.5. Okay. Yeah. Most of the time, I take trades on 0. 0.4 and it goes to 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7. That's where I get even a better edge. So yes. the question is simple. If you take two options of 100, right? 100 and 100 quantity. Either you divide this 200 quantity by half, which means equal to actually 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is one future. So yeah. if I'm taking two trades, 100 quantity each, that means I'm taking a trade of futures on 100 quantity, not 200. So either you divide your points by two approximately, or you divide by the uh, your quantity by two. You will get the answer. Now, why we are following why we are following this method? Because it's a very common metric. What we are trying to measure is your own skill compared to your own skill yesterday. You are competing against yourself. So out of the range, the market can be different. It goes for different days. It can be 300 points, it can be 1,500 points, it can be 2,000, any points. So, in your, if you are a skilled trader, if you are trading well, what is the percentage of the point you are able to get it? That is what we are trying to measure. Beyond any measurement should be measurable, it should be uh, common to everybody, and then it should also be based on a scientific formula. It cannot change. So, when we say what we are trying to measure, I'm not asking how much money you made or how much profit you made or how much capital is made. What is being measured is what is your skill of trading on that particular day compared to your own trading yesterday. Yesterday, you captured 50 point percentage of 400 points range, let's say 200. And the next day, you capture, uh, you make actually 600 points out of 1,500 points move. That's only one third, 33 percent. So, relatively, you have not done well compared to the previous day. So, this is the whole idea of machining. Futures and option, the conversion, normally we use 0.5. That is what, if out of money trade, that's a different scenario. So, it is either you divide by your points by two or you divide by quantity, total quantity you traded by two. That's the answer. So, any, any, any other question, please? If not, we'll move to Nilesh. Sir, I have one question, sir. Yeah. Please ask quickly. Mm -hmm. I, am, I have invited all you guys. This is a QA and a session. Please feel free. And then if you miss now, and this may be the mostly the last session on the Renko, and if you keep asking in the group, written answers are very difficult because they need detailed explanation. So please use this opportunity and ask the questions and then we can move on. Please go on ahead. 21st June, uh, on 21st June, in the first uh, minute, uh, I mean, after 9 16, speaking, please. at 9 16, I took, took, took that right. 9, 9, uh, at 9 16, 20, 21st June. 21st June. Okay. Uh, AP, can you just, uh, Srini, can you just enlarge the chart? Yeah, yeah, I'm on 21st June. No, just enlarge the chart. Just use a single single chart. Okay. Yes. Uh, when the brick is formed after one minute, that is the one in one minute chart. But uh, at, I entered at nine sixteen, and uh, I just uh, got the SLP. Yeah. Same uh, same thing happened. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, AP, can no, you no, see nine, nine, the nine, RSI going down here at 9.15? Yes. Yes. So you should have been a bit, little bit careful there because it could have gone down continuously. So that was not the yes, right entry. But the RSI is above 60. No, it is above 60. But can you see the uh, it is coming down the slope? Yes. 
yeah yeah so that is a indication that the price might come down and it did and then it again went up so that was not the correct entry but uh, you also entered at 960 you entered at 916 right so 916 look 9, at uh, 916. Uh, yeah look at the slope of rsi it is coming down right yes okay or or, or is it in the hindsight it is looking that you know it is coming down because the green yeah, yeah. break and red break you see is 915 and 922 so uh, if we, what did you observe after 915 at 916 did you observe rsi where it was and what was the flow just the is that when uh, one red uh, break was formed and the same thing happened on uh, 17 june also uh, you went after long or first, short year uh, it, it was no one moment uh, uh, one moment rakesh here actually on 21st june i was able to see three bigs instead of two but shiny screen showing only two two red bricks uh it is probably st- time frame probably uh, no it's a uh, 23 14 yeah. yeah yeah it keeps resetting every time yeah okay and and one more thing uh, on 916 there was a no, kdj was red so rock, long side entry itself was wrong our basic rule is we should not go against the trend no 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 kd kd kdj at, at 916 it was a green yeah. it kdj was green after after 916 it it formed a red at at 915 uh, after first candle was formed at 916 i entered at that time the kdj was a green only uh just one more addition to this ap always uh, look at rsi uh, and also the slopes you know uh, usually we talk about uh, the crossing but usually the slopes are also a good indication that it, it is coming down <coughs> that uh, you shouldn't have gone long this entry was wrong okay okay just uh, just one one more case final case that uh, no, 17 june on the first half uh, at 9 9:15 same same type of case at uh, short stream 17 yeah yeah time what is the time uh, at 9 16 after 9 15 that is 9 16 so this rally of uh, red brick yeah it was 9 9 9 15 and that's here i entered you entered here long or short yeah. short okay see here that uh, uh, this is similar to what happened on friday even on friday uh, the morning trade lasted till 19 uh, 918 and even here it lasted till 918 i guess have you on 918 or 915 915 okay so what happens is usually here your stop loss will get hit or else uh, you will have to be very quick uh, getting in and out here you, you took a shot at 915 916 and uh, the direction change right yes. then what okay. what what should be our uh, uh, what should be our next uh, 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 nilesh uh, you have to go to the next presentation see this 915 trades are very different so yes. if you start keep taking this example of this 915 trade yes sir this uh, renko is not the answer to 915 trades okay it's completely yeah. different because 915 to 920 the first kind is the form people based on that 5 minutes it is not about the market it is about people who took the btst trades who had the position before they will do to square off or whatever they want to do clear the position so that 5 minutes does not reflect anything of the market it is a question of people who are holding the previous day position they are deciding what to do with their positions so that's why you see everything jumbled up so let's go to your presentation alex hey, yes sir. what i'm trying to say is they let's not focus too much on this 915 trade so that won't give an answer The, you take the normal trade don't go to the extreme cases please yes sir 
so nilesh nilesh yes, i am rampal just give me one example of sl just i am very basic question and just trade in you are trading one day of uh, using lenco uh, on that day i have not um, hit any sl but just keep uh, provide with some a one example of how you calculate the sl on the basis of this candles after the entry okay i will come to that uh, let me finish this and then we'll come to that is that fine fine Hello. nilesh uh, okay. but uh, what we are trying to rampal is asking let's not keep repeating the trade because it's very clear let's okay, focus sir. on this exit why the rational entry like that those those issues. okay sir okay sir so i'll be explaining only two days here uh, the trade i took for two days uh, the reason behind that is uh, i changed uh, i i want to explain in detail here so let uh, before entering in the morning i decided i wanted to trust the system and i will take a loss if my stop loss gets hit and i will ride the trend so that was my mentality on thursday so first thing what i did was i took a trade at uh, 915 uh, sorry uh, this one at 917 and there was a long trend but here uh, i noticed there was a resistance and then i exited this was a very wrong thing from my side i was able to capture 250 265 points but this was roughly about 400 plus points then uh here i was a bit late in my entry oh, why you exited nilesh Ye- yes sir so there was a uh, i was reading a lot of on Insta- uh, telegram and other apps and uh, it mentioned that you know 3300 uh, 33000 could be a uh, is a target and it will be difficult somewhere i read that and i exited because of the fear and i regret that entry because i lost a lot of points here. like hey, they were stop stop here nilesh yes sir let me tell you one thing there are how many 10000 10000 trading channels in telegram right sir nobody has their own region even the nobody can predict anything believe me right, nobody sir. can predict anything so leave this legendary to others uh, you know it is fine but one what it's it's not these levels are decided different i'm going to show it to you about the swings and other things when i present but uh, i hope you learned the lesson now yes i learned the lesson i regretted uh, the next do not do not only thing that is why i say own your chart my system will not work for you somebody system will not only right, your sir. system will work for you so if you trust by experience uh, i mean this case it could be the other way also maybe 30000 was the t- but this how to look at levels not by looking at telegram right sir this is what you should understand yes levels are very very important in trading renko support levels and resistance levels are the most important aspect but that you don't decide on telegram somebody's view then the question one should ask how did you find if that guy explains how you found 33000 and then you yourself can find out in a better way i'm going right, to right sir right you. sir yeah uh, okay. sir i okay, need to ask somebody about the levels we can the, find it. there are so many tools okay go ahead so the moment i uh, exited i started regretting it and i mentioned in the group like i lost roughly about 200 250 option points on this thing and because of i took the atm strike and it went very well here uh, i gained about 260 bank nifty point but uh 17 uh, around 175 to like 1 150 175 option points here then what i did was uh, here i was a uh, i was doing something and later i thought uh, i missed this en- entrance here but then i took a entry here it was again a late entry and i managed to get out at uh, 1210 uh i was ma- able to get get 250 points here again i waited here for kdj i w- i wanted to be sure i got 160 points here again uh, early exit here that was a mistake from my side um, my stop loss thing got uh, i kept on increasing and at this point there was a slight pull back uh, it hit my stop loss and i decided not to enter again then this was the trade i made maximum points uh, i made roughly about 424 points here uh, i entered following the system 
a late, late entry because I, I uh, this because of GI and NMACD, but I did enter and I was able to get four twenty five uh, bankruptcy points here on this, and I exited here. Uh, the next uh, this was a tricky day. I this I made only ten bankruptcy points this day, and here uh, like. Uh, the person this asked me friday right yeah uh, yes sir this is friday so what happened was uh here the morning trade was very short lived can you see here it is 916 and then at uh, 920 or something the tra uh, the trade got finished and it was uh, like the volumes were huge like it jumped roughly about 100 uh, 120 points here between this period uh and i got 120 points and i exited here uh after that I entered here and then I lost roughly about one hundred and ten points. Uh, I made couple of uh, entries and exit, but my stop loss got hit and I decided to stay light there. And and during the entire day, I was like, there's no signal, so I couldn't take this trade. On Friday, there were only two trading options. One was the morning trade, this portion. If you entered early, you would have rewarded heavily. And then there was this portion, like twelve twenty seven. I was not able to get this, but uh, sorry, twelve thirty eight to thirteen. Uh, 03 which rakesh explained it touched the lower bollinger band it hit the upper low two standard deviation of upper bollinger band and it reversed these were the only two trading uh, uh trading options that day your uh, indicators uh yes sir indicators here rsi no I open have, it open it please uh, all of them yeah. on the top left you have seven indicators Can one match yes sir so Okay, let me ask you this. Okay, can uh, you, you now can you answer Rampal's question now? Yes, sir. Uh, Rampal, can you just repeat the question? Example of uh, just brief one example that you have entered here and your stop loss is due because if you if we are discuss about the fifty to sixty point is our S M plus B, uh, and that during this uh, process two to three we temporary peaks are formed and our S L is big. See here, my SL got hit this period. No, here is the confirmation breaks, and uh, in the current in the live market, uh, like two to three weeks are from like we have to put a sixty points or sixty to sixty five points SL. We have to put, see our breaks are twenty five points each. Yeah, okay. Yeah. For example, uh, I am entering. For example, I am entering here. Uh, what is this? Nine twenty four. Okay. Just what is so, the level? Level it is. Give me the level at which so I can uh, imagine the uh, points which you have to put as in as well. Points roughly about fifty points is that no, uh, thing. No, no. Let's just put here a high or low because we can uh, enter at high or low any time. See if you uh, let me give you an example of this day. Uh, let's take a look at this trade for example. Okay, I entered here. So my stop loss was here, fifty points here, two breaks below. Yes. Actually, the entry was here, but I entered a bit late because it moved quite fastly. Uh, when I came at thirteen sixteen to thirteen twenty, it moved quickly for me, and then I entered at thirteen thirty because here the gap was a lot, thirteen sixteen to thirteen thirty, fourteen minutes, and then again uh, it started trending upwards. So this was my stop loss. Yeah. and then i kept on uh, when i when the price went up on increasing i kept on uh, increasing the stop loss just behind like 25 no, points no 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 nilesh no, no yes sir you don't say this and that can you tell me exactly where your stop loss uh, is okay so here 32 673 is my stop loss and i entered at uh, 32 728 telling wrongly you you are in a call trade Your stop loss should be below that. I think you are mixing up. Yeah, yeah. So, so, exactly. so the stop loss was here. Uh, thirty-two six seventy-three. No, no. Don't move it too fast. Tell me exactly. Just don't move fast. Yes, sir. Where is your entry and where is your stop loss? So, the ideal entry was at three sixteen. No, no. I don't. Hello, Nilesh. Nilesh, just draw a small horizontal line where your stop loss was. Okay, just one minute. That will. Nilesh, I don't want to talk about the idea. I just want to talk about your trade. That's what the Ramkar question is. Yes, sir. I want points that at that point you have to enter, and these points you have to put as the SL on the basis of the candle. 
see we are we are, we are also using fractals here so whenever you see a fractal nilesh that, sorry that can, sorry sorry yes, now you are diverting the answer can you give a clear answer when sir, is, where which brick we entered what was the stop loss very clear question sir my my entry was here and i kept this brick uh, as my stop loss this brick low like i kept uh, this can you see this uh, no you are thinking and moving you are confusing everybody in english sorry so 13 1309 no, no. okay, brick okay wait 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 i will give you an answer to rampak your entry your stop loss is wrong nilesh okay, because you are keeping on moving this and you are not clear yourself the stop loss is very simple put your entry where your entry that sir, that blue line right yes sir so it should be before that brick not on the red brick you are showing before the brick if you put if there is a, a tail you put it on the tail tail yes sir put another horizontal line please i want to everybody to be clear yeah no not there that's wrong sir, you're right yes that is 50 Fifty plus whatever that tail is. I don't. I can't see the tail clearly. So one minute. Let's so assume fifty-five points. Yes. That sir. is your stop loss, not the red brick. You got. You entered. You must enter on the previous brick. Right, sir. Is it clear? You are yes, saying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are entering on the swing low or the fractals. No, that is not. That is for bowling a bunch. Right, sir. That is not for Renko. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Uh, the stop loss. Option. Let me repeat. The stop loss is if you are taking second candle, second brick, third brick, fourth brick, whatever it is. It is on the previous bricks, which is fifty points plus the tail. If you are on a long trade, plus the wick. Okay, clear. That's all. Yes, sir. The stop loss should not be more than let's say sixty points. Fifty plus tail or fifty plus the wick. Right, okay. sir. You can't put, for example, let us assume you are taking uh, as per your example. Go to the fifth brick. Go to the fifth. Yeah, sir. keep it there. Do you mean to say that you will uh, put it in the fractal low? No, sir. No, sir. Not in that case. Loss? Not in that case. Yeah. No. In any case, it's like that. Yes, There's sir. Only one rule. Okay. Now, Rampal, is that answer your question? Yes, sir. Okay. But uh, sir, in that uh, process, we have to put uh, SL in our system, na? You are yes. you, you are asking, should you put the SL in the system? That's yes, your sir. Question. Yes. Yeah. Is that your question, Rampal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's my question. See, there are two things. If you ask Sanidhi, he doesn't put SL in the system. All right. He puts it in the mind, which he has told us before. My. For me, I will put the SL in the system. But people who are used to putting in the mind, it is their preference. They are doing it for certain reason. But they are also sure this mental system works. They are so disciplined that it doesn't matter whether they put it in the system or whether they put it in the mind. But it doesn't mean that because you put it in the mind, you will keep on adjusting, changing your mind. For keeping the stop loss, the averaging. No, if you are a kind of person who doesn't have the discipline, right or wrong, I put it in mental, but I'm going to put. Then it's fine. If you are not a person who has that discipline, which most of us are not, then you should put the stop loss in the system. That is that is the that is the rule. You must put the stop loss in the system, unless. You are so disciplined; you can keep it mentally, and you will adhere to that. Okay. So, for options, we can take. For beginners, it is not advisable to put mental stop loss. Yes. Sorry, sir. Yes, uh, sir, sir from, yeah, this is Srinivasan. Yes, Srinivas, go ahead. Sir, for options, it is uh, it is right to keep the previous uh, candles low as stop loss, right? In the option chart, let's say thirty three five hundred call. So uh, the same time, I can open the option chart and on the same uh, candle, I can keep the candle low as stop loss, right? Yeah. So, yeah. What is the what is the problem there? No, can I answer that? Can I answer that? Yeah. Can you answer, please? I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So, Srini, I understood your point. You 
keep this chart in front of you for trading but at yeah. the same time you also keep the option chart to put the stop loss right yes. Yes. so wherever you are entering the previous swing low or swing high you put that as a stop loss for you know your trade isn't it is my understanding correct correct correct, correct. yeah so if you really ask me that's a you know very dangerous thing to do because what you will find when the temporary bricks are forming your you know price will come down and hit that stop loss and then revert and it will happen multiple times i think that was one of the question that rampal you also had right in yes option, sir my question option is option that should we put a sl in the system and the temporary bricks are formed that sl is hit yeah so you know don't apply the swing low concept in option chart otherwise your stop loss will definitely hit. Eight out of ten times it will hit. I've observed that. So that's why Friday or Thursday I was telling right. If you really want to put a stop loss and considering swing low as a criteria for that, then put it on the chart. On the option chart, you give more space for that because in option chart your swing low will not work because one candle will come and hit and revert. Even within one three minute candle will come and hit and revert. Yes. Okay, so we should give more space. Right? Uh, more than Correct. Yeah, in option you should give more space. But as Jagan sir is saying, if you know exactly you know where your swing low is in in the futures chart, you look into the option chart and give more space in terms of at least two more you know candle for that. Oh, what? But yeah. but that will increase your you know uh, yeah. loss option. If it re- really reverts, it will hit it. So your loss yeah. will be more. so that's the risk you need to take if you really want to look into option chart otherwise as as you know i i generally don't put anything in the system but on the you know future chart i draw a line wherever the stop loss is and as soon as it you know closes and wait for the closer of the candle don't go just by that and that's the challenge that you have when you put it in the system the candle but, uh, will not uh, close but it will come sir, and hit the stop loss system, but sir in some cases uh, when 3 to 4 to 5 bricks uh, form continuously in a one minute then we will get more losses in that condition if you don't if i not put sl in the system that's right i agree yeah. you know and that's why you know this particular chart what jagan sir has shared this is a one minute chart so in this you'll not find lot of temporary you know uh, bricks being formed so that is the advantage of this particular chart compared to the previous chart we had so you will have one or two cases like that that's for sure and there is no guarantee for it but the chances of 80% not getting you know temporary uh, bricks hitting the stop loss is very high in this case see the the idea of stop loss thank you chandeep idea of stop all these things if you take in the no trade zone or when the stop loss will be hit mostly when the trend is not strong when the uh, when the uh, you, when you are trading in no trade no trade you know, those kind of things when the reversal will take place so basically you have to uh, i'm going to explain that in the chart let's wait for 5 minutes you will explain very clearly how these things work you have to have an idea of what is the so i have one more question about uh, if we are using uh, monthly option in place of uh, weekly option then we are vega positive in that case and we don't have any fear of uh, theta loss sir leave the monthly options when any option you use as long as you are trading in the momentum there is no theta loss okay now it doesn't matter we are momentum traders we are getting in and getting out out a maximum of let's say 45 minutes to one hour that's all whether you trade monthly chart whether you take the next weekly chart it doesn't matter as long as you are trading on the momentum or the only problem is if you are not trading on the momentum and you you the the block stays for one hour two hour not moving even 25 points you better get out and that's what we all do because the mod there is sideways it is taking long time the bricks are not forming so that is when you should worry about theta loss when you are trading 2 to 3 hours or more if you are staying one trade we don't stay in one trade for 3 hours 4 hours so it doesn't matter what is the time frame you are trading right you, you understand because okay. renko is a timeless chart it doesn't take t- 
time into it is about only about the price. So you should worry more about the delta in which you are entering and then whether you are gaining delta more than the theta. But that statistics I will give it to you later. Okay, so shall we close this presentation? Uh, let me start mine. Uh, okay. Sir, I have one small doubt. Uh, we don't have really time. Ask okay. specific questions, 8.45 now. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, sir, Rakesh here. Yeah, please go ahead, Rakesh. Yeah, actually, I just uh, need to know if we get out, uh, if any trade uh, because of any mistakes or if we are late in our entry, what should be the our criteria for re-entry? See, re-entry, I, I will explain to you. Okay. I'm going to present my chart. You will get okay. an answer. Perfect. At the time you will get it. Okay. But re-entries are always dangerous because you are already, uh, if there is no strong train, see, what are the problems re-entry will bring? You are entering in the middle of a train. Okay. So the reversal can be imminent or can take place. See, our whole idea is to capture maximum bricks in one trend. You already lost half of it. Then remaining also, when you exit, you're going to lose another 25 points, right? So unless there is a strong con conviction, there is the whole market setup, you have to understand there's a big rally going on uh, either side. Then yes, you don't want to miss you when you re-enter. But when you, when you re-enter, you already should have that kind of conviction. Nothing wrong in re-entering. At what point you are re-entering? And then uh, it depends on... That's why we have so many other indicators, charts and everything. I have simplified them. Let me start that. And if you still don't get an answer, you can ask Ranko. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. The Rampal is entering and again at least five times so far. So, can I share my screen? Uh, yes, sir. You want to share your screen? Okay. I am... Uh... Okay. I will... After this, what I will do, I will give the permission for other people to enter. Okay. Good. Can you share this? Uh, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. So don't get frightened. It's actually much simpler than, than what it is. So there are three uh, charts uh, I'm going to do. Okay. After some time, English will take over when I want to talk more on that. So there are seven. Sorry, I need to bring down. Yeah, I think it's okay. Can you see the chart, everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me slowly do this. Okay. I'm going to open and close one by one everything so that it will go in a proper way. So this is... Uh, Sir, I think you have selected the uh, trend line. Which if one? you can select the, if you select the pointer, then it will be better because right now Maybe. all the trend lines are coming. What is that? Sir, oh. Sir, you, your selection is trend line. No. On the left, on the left side, wait, where all wait, the... Wait. wait. This, uh, but, uh, okay. You is a long one. Okay. What is the wrong with this? This line, oh yeah, okay. I will cancel those. Okay, right? Clear? No, sir, sir, for, first, uh, your selection is not correct. Right now you have selected trend line. Your cursor yeah. selection. No, I am not selecting anything. I have change the the i'm not selecting anything yeah yeah so you, you, see, you see that right now it is selected so select the uh, plus plus icon that is there before that trend line not there left, left panel one. yeah go up go up 
Go up, go up, go up. First in a left corner. This is the selection. Yeah. This is the selection right now. You change that. You take the previous one, not this one, not this one. Before. No, I don't go. want to select anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm explaining. There's no selection. I'm not going to draw any trend line. Okay. Is it okay? Is, uh, is, so no, no, it is. It is not okay. What I'm saying is, even if you don't want to do, it will. You know, if you click on the chart, it will come. So that's why select the previous one. Cross. No, no. So what do you want? I think you should do. Go low. Go left. Go left. You And mean click on this? That's what you're saying. Click on the previous one, not this previous one. The plus okay. icon. Yeah, select that. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, anyway, now it is okay. I, I was not intending to draw. Okay, so now. The first thing is this is a basic chart, right? Okay, so we have KDJ, we have the uh, what do you call the uh, brick chart, which is the same thing. I've I've shown you all this stuff you already know, and the symbol and this we have gone through. If you this is the normal setting which we do, and I want to just show you here, here, and everything. Okay, nothing has changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is it. The names are done in the usual one. So, simply speaking, it is that the you know most of you didn't give so much importance to the KDJ line, but you leave everything and see this KDJ line in the background. It more or less except two three areas, this area, right, and this area. And this area; otherwise, it is giving you a very clear thing. So we are telling all the problems we are facing in identifying and taking round trade, stop loss, and everything. So you first let's let's see the normal indicators because I will not go back. Here, you see that the confluence is starting at this brick. As I said, uh, the GI always gives a slight. RSI is the more or less a leading indicator, so it gives the first first uh, signal. So this is the normal thing. Normally, RSI will give you the first signal, and the second signal will come in NHM, NMACD, because that is a divergence indicator, right? <coughs> Based on moving average. And finally, GMI, GA will always be late. Rakesh mentioned about that. Why it is combination of five moving averages, so there's a lot of averaging is done. There are five short and five long, and first normally the short ones will move, which is the green one. But again here the trend is not; it is going back. Again you will see that the RSI is in the neutral zone, so there is again it's continuing. Again after this initial what you call pullback. Again, the trend goes. So fundamentally, this what we are trying to do is we don't we may not need many indicators or anything at all to trade, but we want to see that we avoid this sideways market and this no trade zone, so that at least we want three weeks minimum to take a trade. See, the game is like this. The game is how many. Bricks you are able to capture in this. This is it. So this Friday, as you know, it is a it's a bit of a issue. Let's take uh, Thursday market, which is more. Friday is a very difficult non-tradable market for Renko or even for anything because it was only three hundred and thirty points. You see, most of the things, it is very clear that. Let's take. The confluence here, KDJ. Now here it is NAMCD. As usual, RSI giving an advanced signal. As usual, GM GI is giving a later signal. So the signals are coming, but these three indicators give it in a few minutes, two minutes, three minutes. I do not know, depending on the time. So, but we need to understand the signal will come always from RSI first. Then in SMACD, then GI. So if you say that you are waiting for GI to come, in this case you are already you will be in the second bar. Okay, nothing wrong, nothing wrong, provided the trend is big like this. There's nothing wrong. It is your risk 
uh, version or risk profile it depend what is comfortable here okay i don't want to discuss about the morning trades but there is see again ga many people you have to look at the red line which is the most important that tells you the trend of the day basically whether the trend is bullish or bearish you will know for for here it is clearly the long term averages are or high and it is ga which is giving you those short scalping opportunities so there was no big trade okay so hello yes who is this okay can i go on then we look at fractals okay so next i'm opening the fractals so these are giving swing high and swing low is very clear we already explained sir somebody should mute sir sir it's r please mute yourself i'm hearing i'm getting a lot of noises okay can i move okay uh, fractals already explained clear it is giving you the ओके फाइन ओके नाउ आई थिंक इट्स फ्रॉम द सेम इश्यू ऑफ नॉन म्यूटिंग मे बी इज नॉट अवेयर ऑफ हाउ टू म्यूट ओके लेट्स गो टू दू नो इट इट विल डिस्टर्ब द रिकॉर्डिंग अल्टीमेटली वेन इट इज पब्लिश इन यूट्यूब सो फ्रैक्टर्स इज क्लियर दे नो एन एक्सप्लेनेशन नीडेड नाउ लेट्स गो टू नंबर अगेन सर इट्स आर नॉट एपी वर्मा अगेन I removed him. He re-entered. Is it? I think. It's R, not E. R is, yeah. R is who is R? Yeah, same. Yeah, it has been removed. But if he re-enters, then I don't think so. Okay. Who is this? Ask, please. Name. We don't know. We always ask people to identify. Okay, let's go. Go ahead. So the second I would like to explain is the bowling a band. I'm opening the third second. The so we talked about the the bricks itself. Then we talked about the KDJ. How perfectly it's aligning. Then I'm also talking about the three. confluence factor which one first which one second and which one third so we should be aware of that so now i am opening the bowling a band now what i have done because of so many lines we don't want i have removed the uh, bowling a band uh, border lines and i have shaded that so basically this is the bowling the black shade what you see is the bowling a band and right so the top lines are there that we don't need those lines because what we are interested in the is in the shadow as you can see it is also following uh, nilesh are you there yeah okay so this is following yes, the system perfectly so you should be, this should help you now we should understand in renko the middle line is normally supposed to be the 20 moving average but actually if you put 20 moving average you will find a difference why it's a separate question just you need to be aware if you want i can show you to you if you put a 20 moving average let's say moving average then i just want to show you i will remove it later so you can you stand in one also Okay. Let's 
see this blue line i will make it big so you have to be careful here just to show it here you see that the blue line and the and the orange line which is the bollinger neutral line are basically different so you need to understand that's why i have not put the ema here i'm removing it now so why there is a supply explanation just for your interest so bollinger band also we are very clear let's look at the confluence here yes fractal low is here then again rsa is taking the lead then macd sorry macd yeah in this case more or less both are same right macd and rsa both are same and uh, gi is taking two minutes later which could be this brick so this is about the bollinger band so so far we are very clear about this entry and exit there is no problem but the problem is the the basic idea promise here we want to capture as much of this as much of this you can enter here exit here you could have made but the skill and the profitability and the gains is how best you can take it one and the second is how to avoid this kind of situation right so which is why you should know first what is the trend and what is is it a pullback or a retracement this is what it is it makes a big difference because in this case let's say this is a pullback so two things you can do you don't end, like uh, rakesh explained he had the conviction in that i think it was one candle here there is two candle you don't exit in fact you come and add more quantity here because you know the the trend is depending on various bollinger bands other criteria see this uh, this line here uh, is still showing positive it's not changing rsa is changing i uh, is going up the ga is not coming down so all these things should show you that the trend is still up and this is a pullback there are other methods which i'm going to show you through the candle chart also so this is the most important question people should be facing difficulty is it a pullback or is it a retracement should i exit should i not exit should i even add not only exiting should i add more quantity take the plunge and add more quantity here so that more profit so what is a retracement what is a pullback this is one big challenge in renko right the quantity you need to do really if you want to get more points so how to do it that is what i am i was trying to figure it out and that's why i made the chart different i removed many of those indicators because i traded myself only on renko from monday to friday so i was able to observe what works i mean they are working but we can't have 20 indicators in a chart and that will complicate and it's very become complicated to trade so i never advise more than three indicators on the bottom even i'm trying to reduce to two the chart should be as simple as possible too many lines will not help so you will see that's why bollinger bands borders i've removed i've removed the 21 indicators why because even if you don't have 21 indicator the neutral line is fine it is almost near i showed it to you so i'm trying to simplify the whole process right so two questions is the otherwise it's a child's play the strategy anybody can if you have to tell you look first reversal candle take an entry first reversal candle again take an exit then it's a very simple game so the two issues is one to find out whether it's a pullback or a retracement that decision has to be made and the second is is it a sideways or is it a trending market and the third is if it is a trending market what is the fundamental trend and am i trending am i trading against the trend and trading along the trend so these are the three basic 
things, ideas you should be very clear about. And these charts and this strategy should help you to do that. There is nothing else in this strategy. Only these three. Let me repeat. No trade zones, pullback or reversal question, and three am I on the right side of the trend or am I against the trend. So, so far, we, we know here Bollinger Band 2 HD gives the probabilities. So, more or less the entry is clear. However, what is not clear is what happens with this reversal, pullbacks and other things. So, what I am trying to do, I have done another indicator. You remember our old RSI EMA. So, the whole RSI EMA, you will get a big band. You know, in the other chart, like KDJ, RSI EMA will come. If you want, I can show it to you, which I will off it. I just need to put it, it will see. See, the whole thing changes. This is similar in an, one of our uh, CT charts. We are using RSAMA in 3.1 or I don't remember. One of this, you, we are using RSAMA as a background instead of KDJ. Yes, 4.1, so, sir. 4.1, okay. So I'm not doing it because that will complicate, but I'm using only one factor, which is the RSAMA, the signal line. I have removed everything in, in RSI. Even I don't need these labels also, I can remove. Values also I don't need. I removed that also, I can remove. Simplify so that your label column is. Uh, okay, once again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, where are we? Yeah. So, this is your line. RSA EMA line. See this. Now, my idea when I introduce this, I wanted to really compare how the divergence works with KDJ. Even though they are using different averages and all, see this. It is giving the bit advanced signal before the trend changes. Yeah, sorry. Not even advanced, actually, maybe one minute. This is a three minute I'm using, right? So, definitely, it's giving at least one minute advance here. Yeah. Look at here, then the uh, thing starts. Actually, this is this is this uh, ten bar one is. Yeah, it's 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 giving you the right signal again here, then here, then there's this blip. So, as you can see, this is another signal line, which is giving you the uh, the 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 direction here. See, one thing interesting here, see the red line here doesn't change in spite of this blip. See, this is why it, where it is helping you. When your RSA EMA divergence is not changing, but still the direction here is changing, that will definitely giving you a signal. This is a false uh, uh, retracement. It, it may not work, so you can take a risk here. The trend continues. Second indication is it is still on the red line, uh, red background of KDJ. I'm not using the J line here. Uh, I'm not comfortable, but uh, just because Nilesh uses, I'll show you that also. This is the J line. Okay. So that will also give you a certain. I'm not very sure. I don't because I normally I don't use the J line, but I see that here also it is giving you. But we will not use it for now. If you want, you can use it. You can study it. So what I'm trying to tell you is this: there are cases where, in spite of this, there is another example I can show you. Uh, I need a. Here it does, because they are bigger, they are not really no trade. So you can look for examples, we will not go very long on this, where sometimes it changes, sometimes it changes. So this is the next. Now this is your, uh, what is this, e EMA. Which EMA is that? 
Yeah. So I have encoded, but what it shows, see, this is another thing in trading. As long as you are above this, okay, let me first show you what these averages are. The three averages I'm using, 10, 13, and 20. Okay, this is the standard. Some people use these averages. What it means is as long as this, it is above this 10 moving average, you can be on a long trade. So this is the first phase, the 10. And when you see, it will cross. So as long as you are above this, then you are fine. Long trade. When these moving averages go below, let me show you here. See here, then it is a short trade. So why we are doing all these things? We want to be absolute sure we are on the right side of the of the trend. Again, same thing happened here. The the RSE EMA line changing. So when you're talking about the exit decision. All these things come into picture that you are on the correct side of the trade. And if one goes in the reversal, see here, there is the red line is continuing in spite of those two. So you can stay in that, you can take the risk if for at least two, two bricks, there's no problem, right? So here, see here, the green line is still intact in spite of these two bricks. So that means the trend is continuing. One way to do, we just change it to 15 minutes. You'll see the trend more clearly. Nothing. Okay. So the only best way to do is to see the long term. It is even more clear. The more longer you go, it will become even more clear. Right. You won't see any blip at all. So here, if you are taking, all those things disappear in one hour, just one here, here. One strong trend here, here. And you see this here, it's giving signal here and finish. So what I'm trying to tell you is the only way to have that conviction, to see that whether it's a pullback or reversal, go to the longer frame, use other indicators. So that will give you really conviction. It is not that difficult. So I'm changing back. I will come even to one minute and you see, see the one minute gives you so much. So any shorter time frame, the best way to look at if you're already in the trade, three minutes, the more ideally five minutes will give you a much clearer picture. And if you want to know the, what is the real trend, two things will give you. One is this red line, green line of this uh, GI and another is the trend will become clear. Then you go to one minute trade and trade, for example, or three minutes, whichever you are comfortable. So that is about this. Now, finally, we are coming to another thing. This was presented by Ajish, the Sichimako, when we first introduced the Renko chart. But it was not, that's why I said we should revisit. There are two strategies which I'm not happy, which I'm going to redo, redo it. One was this Renko, which was presented with Ichimako, and the second one was this double BVAC. So both, I said, we'll do, I wrote it somewhere that we are going to redo it. Why? Because it was not uh, done in the way it should have been done. Nothing wrong with the presenters. They're all new at that time, and it is their first presentation. So it is fine. So we left it, at least you had introduction if you want to go. But I want to reintroduce that again, that concept. See, one thing is clear. All these things is not something new. Why? There are certain rules you need to understand. Most of the indicators will not work with Renko. Renko is something special. Why it is special? Because it's only price-based chart. It is not a time-based chart. So volume indicators, they're all based on time and price. It won't work. So most of the indicators, and even the indicators which work, they will work differently. For example, if you are using Vidli here, 
it will work differently from willy on the normal candle chart how to prove it very simple you put an alert on minus 5 or minus 95 in a normal chart candle chart put some sound and then you will hear the sound when it is in minus 5 whereas here it will show you something else but still it is showing the renko sound but you have to understand this very clearly all these indicators including nmacd everything will work differently in renko so you have to keep that in mind so you should not get confused if billy is showing something here and billy is showing something there okay so now why it it there are two things which they are always pairs people have found work with for example bowling a band and rsi i send the uh, link for bowling a band himself he is also in kora he answers all your question if you have a question you can ask him he is in kora he is replying and he has also his official website where there are lot of videos and answering so this rsi is uh, just a moment please the rsi is paired with bollinger bands fractals are paired with bollinger bands and uh, uh, to a certain extent fibonacci is also with bollinger bands what is important in in renko renko two things are important one is the support resistance level swing highs and swing low this is what renko tells you clearly so when you are trading in renko you should be very clear about the this support at resistant level and the swing high swing low that is very important because that is what it represents basically we are trading we have become swing traders we are not even scalpers because you are trading on the swing high and swing low which is represented by the reversal bars any question so far am i going too fast hello No, Somebody can. Am I going too fast, or is it okay? It's okay. No, sir. Clear. Clear. After that, there will be a Q and A time, uh, and then I will take the questions because I don't want to go too much into that. Just give me a half a second. Okay. So. i emphasize the two things when you are really trading renko it looks simple but what is the difficulty we discuss so basically we are trading on swings so our focus is on swings higher high and then our focus is on trend what is the trend higher high uh, higher low and going up or down lower lower high lower lows ll lh then it's a downtrend so where a trend is defined only like this when you make higher highs and higher lows it's an uptrend and vice versa lower highs and lower the downtrend so we are looking at that so all what we use should fit into that chart so that the, our strategy is uh, good it, it the probabilities are increasing odds are increasing and the mistakes are lessened okay so this is the objective on basically creating the chart not only the chart the setup and your the way you execute problem with renko is only execution there is nothing wrong with the concept everything is very clear but we have to understand the limitation that is price chart so what is that i've done next is uh, before we go so we should go to this support levels resistance level that can be done in two ways one is by drawing lines previous day previous uh, high low uh, last week high low uh, or you can use cpr those kind of things or you know other uh, levels like uh, camarilla uh, you have many tools for drawing support resistance level why they are drawn how they are calculated is a different thing which we will discuss later so we should or you use another method to find the support resistance level is moving averages moving averages i will show you it is why we have 20 moving average 50 moving average because they are always the important support resistance level similarly vwap is an important support resistance level 
Super trend is the important support resistance level. So one way is to draw from the chart, this from this previous, from the history. The other way to draw, find out is using the moving averages where they, they act as support and resistance. So this, we should be very clear in our idea. So the resistance, swing high, swing low, they are the important element where you will have the conviction, yes, it is taking the resistance. Why it is going red color? This is what, why it is turning, the, the bricks are turning colors. Basically, they are representing a resistance, right? In, in the case from, let's say, green to red, it is taking resistance. Similarly, when it is the other way, it is taking the support that becomes the important, the tops, the fractals are the important support and resistance levels. So that is the way we should always look at Renko. Our focus is only on this. So now we come to Ichimako before we go to the candle chart. I'm not going to the second chart still. I will go because this is the only chart you need to understand. I'm opening the, sorry, I open Ichimako, what it does. Look. Ichimako cloud is always traded with Renko. When you see YouTube videos, you will always see Ichimako and Renko. Similarly, Bollinger Band and RSA is always clubbed together. Here, what we are trying to do, we are trying to increase the conviction on your trading. Not just depend on the chart, color changing that anybody can do. That gives the edge is to understand this concept so that you can confidently take and you will never lose it. Becomes, so I traded this on last one week. So from that experience, I can clearly say all these things are working. You are going to try next week, it will work, provided you execute properly. So what I've done, Ichimoku is a complicated concept. So I've done only one thing. These are input, I've taken the default. And in this sign, I've taken the plot background and lagging span. I'm going to share the chart, don't worry. So you can just copy. I've only taken the lagging span, nothing else. What is the meaning of this? You will see, then there is a blue. And when, there, where is this lagging span? Let me, yeah. Lagging span, I put bl uh, the black color. Okay, this, this is the lagging span. As you can see from the style, the lagging span is black. Okay, so if the, the rule is this, from the Ichimaku rule, I'm talking only about the Ichimaku rule. Well, it's a Japanese technique again. Renko is also a Japanese uh, technique. So if it is blue, Instead of green, I've chosen blue because the background is, we have a uh, uh, green background and we have a rose pink background. So I've chosen opposite colors for the contrast. You assume this is green, you assume this is red, but I've used blues and orange for contrast effect. So when there is blue and the lagging span is above this, it can be anywhere. That means you can, that is a long trade. People who are trading in Ichimoku, that's how they do. This is a long trade. Now, as long as it is here, the trend is up. Even if it may go down or come down, it will come back. And this is the, the lag in spine is above. So all these things is uptrend. As even in the squeeze, it is up below above the blue. Okay, let's go to the previous day. Well, yeah, let's come to uh, fall area. Okay, let's take this, this area here. Yeah, well, I want to show you the rule oh, once again. I want to show you a case where the lagging span is below. Yeah, here. You see here, this is the trade. Leave the other things here. If you have a confusion here, whether 
this break this particular thing okay one red candle should you exit or not this is the question right normally this is the problem where you face the confusion comes but you see here what will happen is it is it is crossing it has come red below yeah and it continues to be below the red here it is continuing here actually here uh, from ichimoku side it is not showing clear the signal because there is a blue Seven, sir, coming can you hide the indicators the, the train whereas this this is uh, black so as far as we are concerned uh, the, the i will try to show you this Mm. Why it's not coming? Why? Is... Oh, sir, can you hide the indicator? Oh, here, here, all these things. It's it is. It's below. The the lagging span is below. That means it's a downtrend. And uh, let's take a very clear example of. is uh, okay these are all uh, you know the the blue black but the lagging span is on the top is an uptrend then there there is some the momentum here it is clearly it is going up the the, the here it is up again above the blue right so this gives you generally uh, it is a more of a confirmation about the the trend you know you will get more used to it when you start actually using it even though it looks like a bit complicated it is it it does help and ichimoku is a very popular indicator and uh, yeah the one more thing yeah they say that when the brick is in ichimoku cloud normally you should not take the trade so i'm looking at that example also where they they know on screen so this is the where there is a, i'm trying to find an example when here there is one it's not clear right so clear maybe i should do one thing i should off this maybe to give a clear and keep this only and i should off this also let's look at this more clearly yeah okay this is on the broader trend here the lagging span is below this so it's a down trend it has already started it's crossing and where it is coming here the start of the uptrend here it the thickness also matters then it's expanding and then the span is also there at some point it is ending and then it uh, the black crosses here that will be the downtrend so it gives a broader view i doubt whether maybe i have to adjust the settings so i will leave it now for this so this is the the setup now i want to go to the, and to the other chart okay so one second which is the uh, the second chart will not spend time is the same chart with the alligator then we have adx willy and only thing is there is a squeeze momentum the rule is simple the when the blue line crosses the red line it is downtrend and the blue squeeze crosses from down to above here this is the upswing it is close and then this is the only use when it is both club together this area you will see 
that it is a more of a sideways. So the squeeze momentum, we try to use it before, but then uh, if you look at that, you will have uh, why you see this, uh, how many people, how popular it is. Squeeze momentum. 79,000 is one of the highest users. They are using this particular indicator. So there has to be value, but uh, they accept it does work. I've checked this one. You can check everywhere when the, oh, it's not here. Huh? You'll see here another day. This start will start the whole up move. And then there is, and here, there, this area, there is a squeeze. Then you go, of course, alligator is expanding. That's also another signal. Again, it goes up. And here, down, things like that. So this is, you can study this more deeper. We will not go through very detailed. And uh, here, okay, this is the part which may be useful to us. Let's look at another squeeze part, this chart here. Here, you see this line very close, changing. Then that means, see, what we are trying to say is, this portion is not as strong a trend like uh, the, uh, sorry, like this, these ones the big ones or this ones. They are not big because as you see here, this portion is intertwined. So that is giving you one moment. Then you have your usual really, these are all very simple, straightforward. We know it is, it is using that. Okay, then what happened to Sorry, one second, give me. I will fix this one. So this, uh, this uh, obstructing this. Okay, now it has come to the original thing. So basically, this is what it is. And now we, are, we don't need to explain about Willy. ADX we have discussed. So this is the second chart. Now let's go to the final one. What we did, uh, the new one is this candle. Okay, now we are going to the, this I'm sharing. I will just explain the concept. So this candle kind of chart, Again, I have to. Oh, yeah, this I was using this. Okay, let me open this. See, the most important is this one. It is. Okay, let me. Let me start like this. Huh? Okay. I'll quickly go to in 10 minutes. So just concentrate. Okay. First, what is it called is a compression detector. This is the indicator. Simple. What is the compression? These, uh, these uh, black ones, bands across. So what it is trying to say is there is a compression here means you see five candles in a row not moving, that then it identifies there's a compression, meaning sideways movement, nothing big is happening. So these are all the, so now why we are looking at candles, I will explain also. So these are the compression areas and it identifies, it draws the, this color, okay? So this we need to understand. It could be, I do not know the time limit. It could be 
1355. Let's look at uh, three minutes. Okay, let's look at this compression area. 921 to nothing really big happened. 933, sorry, 942, 43, 20 minutes. So here, you, you have to, why we are doing all these things to understand what's happening, why the Renko is not moving, then you get an answer here. So 1236 to 54, 56. Let's say 20 minutes. So this is the, uh, the compression which you understand that it is a sideways, nothing happening. You should be able to relate. Now, the other thing is, uh, okay, this one. This is using the GAN, okay, not this one. Okay, let me come to the main thing. See, this is what it is most important. This gives you the Sphinx. Look at this, uh, the last chart where we thought it's very tight. That is Friday chart. So this gives you really the Sphinx. If you look at your Renko, these are the Sphinx highs. So even when I was trading on Friday, you see completely it takes the rejection. It works very well. You will see the trend here. This swing high, this is swing low. See this this particular candle. Here these two candles it is respecting. And here everything. You look at the chart more closely. Uh, when you have the chart, you will find this will apply to uh, to to a particular day. Why this swing high, swing low are important? Okay, it's because. This is what is represented by the Renko. Renko reversal takes place at Swing Highs and Swing Low. So once you are able to, if you are not sure in Renko, you come here, you will know, okay, it has come to the Swing Low. You can take the, the reversal trade confidently. So this is what is the, you know, somebody mentioned candle charts also should be seen. It is better to use Renko with candle chart. So very clearly when you, this you need to experience when you are trading in the market, Monday, Tuesday, you will see that when the reversal takes place in Ranko, it will be either here or in the swing high, where you will get the red candle or here you will get the green candle. So this is the main uh, chart of this. It's purely a uh, three minute chart. I can make it one minute, five minute also. It will, it will automatically draw swing highs and low, and it does accurately. Okay, so let me go back to one minute. So the other thing, what else we have to see? Okay, this is this one, RSI. This is also important. You'll see the RSI swing, this line, it gives you perfect, what is this? Okay. Disable the magnet too. Is it a magnet too? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we got the swing low high here. Yeah. This is the chart. We put this somewhere. <coughs> okay. So the next thing is. This is, uh, this is what, this is a accurate thing you don't need. It's an additional tool. It gives you there, like the color change chart itself. This is also another tool, but I, I don't do. This is VWAP because we aren't. Okay, VWAP, what I've done is, again, like I did Bollinger Bands, I've removed the the border lines, it gives you the VWAP because VWAP is, see why we are using VWAP because volume it cannot be un, uh, understood in Renko. If you want to understand VWAP and the settings, you will see this middle line, this is the VWAP middle line, 
you see that support taking, many supports will be there here. Then you will see it here, again here. So this blue line here, okay, we know about VWAP, how it supports, so that's it. So the uh, other thing, what I was trying to RSA swing. So this is the swing taking place. See, clearly. So when you are doing in Renko, if at all you have doubts, these are the things you should look. The swing is clear. And how many? There are only two. Th okay, let's calculate for um, where is the starting point? 950 here. Okay, 24th. Let's see. One, again two. That's why it was a difficult day. Three, four, five, six. These are all the swings. If you are trading on a candle, you can clearly trade this way. Take a sell a short here. Here, take a long. Take a short, take a long. Which will show in Renko, which is exactly what we are showing here. Swing high. Here. Right? And this is all, I mean, there are some more which you can sell it. It is also giving, apart from that, these red lines give and it is giving signal also, red, green. This is based on this RSI, swing line, based purely on how the RSI is moving. So this is clear. I've explained this, I've explained VWAP also. And uh, the only thing that is left, congestion, yeah, I've explained. Swing also, I've explained. The two things, there is CPR by KGS. Unfortunately, there is CPR. You see Friday what happened. This is the CPR. This is the day's high, previous day high. So it opened and it took support here. This is the CPR indicator, same indicator you guys are using. So this is the one. So I have included that. The only use here for CPR here is that it took the day high. This is day high. I will show you that also. I have done daily pivot PC, only one day. Okay. And previous day high, previous day low, I put the same color green because I don't want too many colors. They are, sorry, the black. So, what this black here is the previous day high. Okay, here. If you look at it here, this is the high of the previous day. That's what is coming here. So, it opened with a gap up and it took, did take support here. So, let me do this. I will close this also. Actually, you don't need to open everything. What is important is the swings. The most important one is this swing 5.5, right? The indicators, if you want, I will mention it, or it is easy to find when you open. So this is the most important thing. If you don't want these colors are hindering, there are two indicators showing the same thing. You can adjust and make it into a thin line. See, all these things. This is extension you don't need to have. This also you don't need to have. This you can reduce the size for here so that it doesn't bother you. You can do it here, right? So it becomes more simpler. It is not producing the eyes. It looks much simpler, right? So let me do that. So the last thing is the one which I need to show. This is CM GAN. I don't know if people are familiar with the GAN chart or in mathematics, in your engineering, or you would have read that concept of this GAN chart. I'm not using the GAN can be used for swing. See, everything I'm using only for swing trading and using the candles. Why? Because Renko is about swing trading. It is about the changes in the trend. So that's what the only, I'm not using any other thing except the focusing on swing. 
So here, what we have done, only I've used nothing, even levels you don't need, even this you don't need. See, what will happen? Okay. Now, I've shown you, I'll put it on, you'll see what happens. So, these are what? I don't know whether you feel complicated. These are actually the swing low and swing highs. Let me show you. It is showing directional. Is it on or off? Why it's not? Yeah. Where are we looking? Yeah. Okay. These are the one which I made it into small. You can see it still. So, you see here, it is a swing high, it is returning. Here, it is going up. It needs slight adjustment, but fundamentally, it is okay. Let me show you even better. So, again, where is the yeah, there is the swing low. There is a small difference. Why? Because after it touches, it reverses, then it's showing that the swing low. This is not ideal day, Friday. If you take a much better day, you'll see very clearly. See, like this. Yeah, this is more of a trending day. You'll see the green and red shows the high is on the trend low. See the swing high, if you put here, it will go down like that. So this is the use of this chart. So I'm not going to spend, yeah. And the other one is this, uh, sorry, this RSI. That's the only indicator I'm using. This RSI, it has got everything, factors and everything, or bought. This works very well. As you can see, this RSI, it will complete confluence you will get here. See here, low point. I'll just show only one. This is the point. Okay. Similarly, what else you can take? Let's take another point. So, what does can be taken? This is one point. I'm taking only the... Um, something else. I'm drawing approximately because of the time. Yeah, it's nine or nine forty-nine. We'll close it now. Okay, so we can draw here. Let's look at here. This point. Showing this. Uh, I forgot to. Yeah, this is a seventy line. The red line. This is the thirty. If I remember correctly, seventy thirty. So you can draw. So basically, you will see that. The the confluence factor. You can go on and check everything. For example, here there is the string. Okay, so we'll finish with this one. So here, so. 
the, basically this chart will give you uh, it has a very good confluence I've checked and you can check it too. So this is basically what we are going to do. And uh, I'm going to close this now and leave it for questions. Uh, so there are basically three charts. Now what we can do is we don't even need to, we may not need even the second chart in my opinion. The first chart is this and this candle chart. Sorry, sorry, which is the first chart? The, the 2.1, yeah, this chart. I'll make this. Yeah, so this is the chart for 2.1, right? And then we have... But this is 2.1.5. 2.1, this is 2.15, right? Yes, sir, this is 2.15. And this is the candles, which I showed you this now. This is the candles and the first one, yes, yes, exactly that. So, so what I am thinking, uh, yeah, that's what I need your ideas. Do, this is 2.1, right? 1.5. 1.5. Wait, sorry. This is one moment. Yes, sir. This one is 2.1. You know, I'm having all these windows. 2.1 is okay. Then we have 2.15 is okay. Again, there's another 2. Point. So I can close this or close this rather. So we have three charts. Okay. One, 2.1, 2.15. And this candles. Okay. So we may, if you think that this 2.1 is not in a bit, we have so much better comprehension of that. We may drop this 2.1 and keep only these two. That is 2.1 and the, I can name it as 2.15 also plain candles. Okay. So I'm leaving you, I'm leaving the, uh, here. Uh, Nilesh, I'm sir. giving you the sharing option also, or there's no need for that also. So if you have any questions, doubts, please. Is it too much or is it too complicated? I don't know. Sir, I'm yes, Sandeep. Hello? Yes, sir. Is there people are there? It's very quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is there. We were observing it, sir. I think this chart we can keep because swing is yeah definitely it is going to help us more than alligator. That's what I think. Yeah, we can yeah. keep. I mean, it's a strategy. Nothing wrong in having three charts is not too much, but it gives you also an idea. Look, now, uh, okay, it's up to the other questions on whether we can have it or not. What we need to do is, um, okay, so my question is one, I will ask quickly, we will finish in the next seven minutes. Do you have any question on this problem with this chart? No, this is fine. This is perfect. I think we should keep it. You know that well, Ichi, dropped... Ichimoku, Ichimoku, we need to think about. Uh, is one which we need to understand. Right. Do, do, it will take some time. Plus, I also may need to do... So I, yeah. I, I I've not traded enough with Ichimako. I'm going to try it. If there's a need an adjustment, I will do. But actually, we have so much indicators to tell us what is happening that we don't need Ichimako itself. But Ichimako, yeah. the, what the why they are saying is, it is a strategy by itself. Open, above the lagging span, say take long. Below the lagging span, take short. So we don't need that as much because we already have. But other than that, you have also, we'll keep this Ichimako in pending. We will put it light. I don't want to remove it. Just let's keep that there until we experiment whether we are okay with it or. If it is not comfortable, we will leave it. We'll make it simple. Yeah, yeah. I think we can keep it. And rest of the things are fine in this chart. So this will become our first uh, or the main Renko chart. 
and the rsa ema as is new it has been used and the Sir, price... i have i have one i have one observation uh, while you were explaining i was also observing that that rsa rsa ema and nmscd are going together so do we need both or we can keep one yeah so it is giving you a nice indication plus your bb also so i removed that 20 indicator so this is tradable with the three indicators nmscd rsa anybody has any doubt because this is your main trading chart Nilesh. Yeah. No, sir. No doubt. This will be the main chart. No, anything you don't understand? Anything other people? Sir, sir, good day, Nilesh. Good day, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, what is the difference between pullback and uh, trend reversal, sir? Just I want to understand. Pullback. Uh, yeah, this is a pullback. Uh, for example. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. One second. Yeah. Let me show you. This is a pullback. Okay. Now, this is a pull. No, this is this is a reversal here. But okay. in a reversal, you have a pullback and then reversal continuing. Okay. So this is a pullback very clearly. the trend is continuing okay this is a pullback yeah maybe i was wrong there so good evening sir whenever along whenever along with, clear sir. examples are like this good evening sir along with polishraman uh, question yeah. i am ramesh reversal is a proper reversal you know what a, this is a proper reversal in a reversal also you can have a pullback then the reversal continues right okay pullback is a temporary reverse uh, temporary then okay. you find that the original trend is strong suppose the buyers are in control okay. it comes that is what you call it a dips right so yeah. you can think pullback as dips then you know that it's a pullback so it gives you an opportunity to enter the tape even better thing like you do in this way pulls and other things right so yeah. when it retest for example okay i'll give you an example it is above the vwap right yeah. always it retest one right that's a pullback okay so you make suppose you have this two candle theory so yeah. you have uh, entered on the three candle okay it it reverses and gives you another opportunity normally vwap it will retest first retest so okay. many people don't enter on the first uh, what you call crossover of the vwap or when the vwap breaks many yeah. people enter on the first but the real traders won't enter on the yeah. first uh, crossover of the vwap they will okay. wait for the retest and it will retest i will show you another day it will retest first time okay that is the pullback then you re enter again that is when people originally were first entry itself they will make only when it is retesting uh, for confirmation then you are sure it's a pullback and the trend is going to continue clear yes okay thank you pullbacks are very important if you must have pullbacks so that the trend continuity is confirmed right yeah thank you thank you so much sir yeah so if there is no question on this then i will go to the second one sanadeep says we can no not this one sorry the second is this one we agree why because there are these ones what is this table coming from okay so we sir, have uh, sir actually uh, this tds thing it should be in the upper chart you can use the move option the three dots one sorry Sir, uh, the EDX and the TDH got mixed up. You you should put it the uh, TDH in the main chart. Nilesh, I don't understand your question. Sir, oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. In the second see. indicator, ADX and TDH, TDH got no ADX has TDH H with it. It got mixed up. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. That's not the problem. This I will. You know, the thing is, this part, the zoom thing is. when i'm presenting myself 
So the mix up is uh, yes, sir. There, there, yeah. there, exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, sir. You just no, no. Up. That's okay. That's okay. I understand. Not a problem because I need to segregate. Sir, you can do it from the left side, not on the right side. So no, go to the TDH which indicator. This is upsetting my view. Yes, sir. Go to TDH. Yeah, yes. here, here, here. The dot dot line on TDH. Three dot what, lines. What? No, we'll wait a minute. Put, put put your cursor on TDH on the left side. Up, 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 up. With it is with ADH, sir. Yeah, that I found. Yeah, this one you mean. No, no, yes. no, no. Go to this TDH. This is high indicator. No, that one. Yeah, that's the yes, one. Sir, yes, yes, stay, yes. Stay there. Yeah, what do you want to do? Sir, we want Think. to separate both of them. You have kept it in the... Yeah, move to. Move to. New pen above. Move to. Come down. Move to. Yeah. yeah. New First, pen. Uh... Click on that. New pen above. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, no, no. sorry. Exist in pen yes. below. No, no, wait. That's for TDS, not for ADX. Yeah, this so, TDH. Yeah, TDH, you can click on that, move to existing, existing pane, below. pane below. Then it may come to. That's what we want. Yeah, That's yeah what which we is want. what we want, right? Yeah. Correct? Yeah, correct. Now this is the one. Okay. That's okay. So let's save this chart now. Okay. So there's no problem with this because we need to use this release, squeeze momentum, all these things, right? Okay, so then the, this one should come. Oh, this. Okay, I will bring it here. Okay, clear now? Yeah. Okay, so then we have the final one is this one. Okay, any questions? Because this is a new thing which has been introduced on the swing high. So this swing is a lagging indicator, right? So it yes. will form after a couple no, of candles. No, no, it is not lagging. You will see. Okay, I will show you something. Very good. You asked. Good. This is the last thing I'll show you. No, no, I will show you. No, wait, 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 please. I will show you something. Let me remove all these lines. I will show you. 12. When was this started? This yesterday on Friday. This is the last day, right? No, this is not last. So which is Friday? This is Friday. Right? Okay, I will show you the swing low. The swing low, can you see that red one? You want me to make it slightly? I will show you something. This slightly, I will make it so that it is clear. I think I made it too. Okay. Now here, let's take this point. Swing low here. 12.14, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just see. You said I will take this one so that it's clear. Right. Wait, wait. Let me do this. Yeah, vertical line. I'll show you, you'll see, I'm going to do something. Okay. Right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this um, replay button, which is where? Oh, okay. I'm going to show you, you'll see, this, uh, Sanadip, it will answer your question. Okay. What you wanted to know, when these swing high lows are formed, is it leading or lagging, correct? Correct. Yeah, that's your question. We'll put a replay and we'll see how it is going to be formed so, as the market moves. I'm just trying to, what you call, um, duplicate the real, uh, this thing. Okay. So, let me start it. Nilesh, are you with me? Hello, Nilesh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's do this. No, you'll have to select that.
See, they formed already the swing high. Next swing, even before it's formed, it's getting a rejection. I'm giving a commentary. Yes, next swing high, it broke. Next yeah, swing high, uptrend. It tested the swing low. Again, swing broke. Come. See, the form, the swing high is formed on that candle itself. Here it broke the swing low. So no, I it think it is lagging, sir. Swing low is sir it is lagging. It's lagging. It must be lagging because at yeah. the candle, how it will come to know that this is a low? No, no, it is lagging by a couple of candles, not yes. just one. Yeah. Unless otherwise it will get a reversal or it will get form uh, another low, opposite uh, high or low. <coughs> yes, correct. Just like a factor. Observe here. Now the bottom form. It's right? going to close. One moment, it will close fast. Okay, so let me speed up a bit. Look at the bottom formation. Okay, now what I want you to tell you is this. I did take this straight, this one, this one. I took all this, most of the trades I took here. It worked very well. So, so what was your entry I at this took, point, sir? That is why, uh, you know, in spite of being a bad day, I did make some decent points because I traded on this swing high and I liked it and it formed. It really helps you. No, sir, what I'm trying to understand, uh, if you take an example of swing high, right? What was your entry point at that time? Because if you take any example, that swing high would have formed later on, right? No, swing high. See, the moment this candles, this candles form, the swing high, I showed you, to, maybe you can watch it again, replay. When this came and this candle came, the swing high came, that, that line. Did you notice? No. I, I thought it came on the green candle, the third candle to the right. No, no, yes. same, same example. You mean this, this candle? Yeah, this candle. I think it came at that time. This candle, did it touch? No, right? No, it didn't touch. Okay, we will observe it. To me, yeah. it, it helped because I knew this resistance will happen. Similarly, this... Yeah, yeah, I think for retest, this will help. Yeah. But for first what? entry... For retest, suppose, you know, once it is formed and next time when it is coming, then we can make an entry there. Okay. Let's do in three, three minutes. Let's see. It's more clear. Suppose you are trading in Renko. You must take this. That, see, it's all about increasing your conviction. If you are going to take a long trade and the candle, you look at the chart, it is at the swing low, then you know that you can take a long Renko trade here. Yeah, yeah. So that's correct, sir. That is the, that is the point. So that that's is exactly point. Is my point also. 1345, you know, Renko might give a buy signal, right? You know, it will say that, you know, you can go long on that. But this swing, the below a dotted line will come only when you go to the next candle. So that's, that's a... You can use this as a confirmation for that. Yes, yeah, confirmation only. I'm only yeah. saying that confirmation or conviction improvement. Yeah. So when it is, see, what is Renko against swing trading only, right? It is about swings. The highs and low, it is the support. See, what basically, when you say swings, we are, we are talking about support level, right? And this is the resistance level. So what we are saying is, when you do this, you can take with conviction. You know, the point here is, you know why the change in direction takes place. Because it takes, the candle takes a support at that level. So, you need a conviction. The, the, the answer here is, why Renko is changing? Because it heated resistance or support. That is the explanation you are getting, you are using it. 
So when you get this explanation, and you see this also, see the congruence, RSI. Similarly, you will get uh, volume. Of, of course, I made volume separately because volume is also important to look at it. And this is the volume moving average, right? So all these things will give you an idea. The volume is reducing, naturally the trend is reducing. Okay, shall we close here? It's 10. Yeah, 10 yeah, we'll close it here. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. I will try to post the recording tomorrow, right? Maybe yes, in the sir. afternoon. Thanks you all. I mean, I'm I'm sorry if that it got extended more than what we thought. But I think being the last Renko session, it is clear that uh, at least we have a much, much better understanding of the Renko. Thank you very much. Good night. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.